Yeah, like a boss, baby. <laughs> when in doubt, drive a lot, baby. In with the WR250R and out with the Ducati XDI. Time to go do some, some muscle cruiser riding. Let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Continue to leave video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. For those of you that want to get my gear, uh, you know, my camo pads, my leather jackets, my helmets, boots, gloves, everything, cameras. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Ugh, it's been a while since I've been on this bike, man. But I tell you guys, I just got off the WR250R. As you can see, I got my, uh, my dirt bike gear on, my dual sport gear. I didn't feel like changing. I don't care. I look stupid. I look stupid. But, hey, I'm high vis, baby. Staying safe out here on the streets. He should be wearing high vis. But, uh, you know, a lot of you, I tell you guys that the clutch pull on this bike is, is, is uh, tougher than the WR250R. And this has a hydraulic clutch, go figure. But uh, this bike is still so awesome, man. Gosh! But anyways, I think you guys get confused when I was, uh, you know, when I told you guys that I don't want, I probably never get a cruiser again, and I've only, will, I will only stick with sport bikes. I just, I'm more of a sport bike guy and a dual sport guy. My preferences are that I love a bike that feels light on its feet. I just say at this present time, I will not buy a cruiser at this any time soon. Uh, you guys understood that to be uh, only super sports. For some reason, when you say sport bike, a lot of people think automatically, okay, super bike or super sport. That's not the case, guys. You've got street fighters, you got super nakeds, you got, uh, you know, standard sport bikes, uh, you got sport touring bikes, um, you got the hyper sport bikes like the Hayabusa, the ZX14R. You got, you got a lot of different type of sport bikes. It's not just a super bike or a super sport, you know, a 600 or a 1000 or whatever. So, uh, I, when I told you guys, I will probably, I really don't want any more super sports or super bikes. That's what I was talking, when I'm saying, um, I don't want that going forward because out here, you know, out here on the streets, you know, when you're in the, I, the crotch position really doesn't bother me that much, but I'm like, why would I, you know, get a super bike or super sport, which is more tuned for the track, which you know, it doesn't have the boss uh, low end and mid range, you know, boss low end bottom end power like this bike has. Or in Street Fighters do. And uh, so it really doesn't make much sense to really get a super sport or super bike if, you, if you're going to mainly ride on the streets. Now, if you're going to do some track days here and there, then it makes sense. But if you're going to ride a whole lot of street, you might as well just go ahead and get a street fighter, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, the street fighter, it's got that tuned in with that low-end power, that low-end grunt. It's got an upright seating position, and you're not losing. You, you got super bike power. Yeah. Oh, man. For what you want on the street, you know. Uh, it doesn't have the top-end power like the super bikes have, obviously. And uh, so that's, you know, before the street, you don't want top-end power unless you're a highway bandito. <laughs> but hey, to each his own. But uh, when I say that I'm a sport bike rider, I'm, I'm talking about and, and want to stick with a sport bike. I'm referring to uh, getting a street fighter, you know. Uh, oh, baby. Ah! That's what I'm talking about, guys. 
And this bike is crazy, man. Oh, this bike is bananas fast, boy. From where you wanted that bottom end power. But I told you this bike spoiled me, man. <laughs> it really spoiled me because there's no other cruiser that, that's like this, man. At this weight, 545 pounds wetted tune the way it is with this engine is just ooh and the turning feeling all on this bike I tell you guys this is like a, this is your sport bike cruiser right here man but tune for the streets but like I told you guys I'm not that fond of the feet forward riding position um, I feel too vulnerable with this setup you know it's comfortable don't get me wrong but like I said if you know if goes down I can't really jump off the bike in this position man it's very awkward it'd be really hard to and in a split second decision to jump off if I had to which I know a lot of you guys think is crazy but believe me guys people have done it and I've had many I had a viewer actually thank me many years ago for that advice I gave because he had a truck that ran a stop sign and within a split second he had to he could not swerve in a split second. He, he jumped, leaped from his bike, and landed on the top of the truck. And his bike got smashed. And he walked away without a scratch. You know, everybody doesn't have the reaction time like that guy does or like other people do. So it's not going to work for everybody. So let's get that clear. But there's people out there like myself that's a ninja. <laughs> I have a quick reaction time and those fast twitching muscles that uh, I could probably pull it off and a lot of other people can too that have that but there's a lot of people out there that are slow as molasses that it, it you know you're probably gonna have a real effed up day if a car is coming at you and you can't swerve in time and you don't have the quick uh, you know have the reaction time to jump off your bike but I truly love this bike. That's a boss. Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this thing is so boss. Oh, man. And you feel it, too. That's what's awesome about this bike is you feel it. You feel that torque. It rumbles. Like, you feel the rumble of the engine. It's not like, a, like the Japanese bikes that are highly refined and it's a more of a smooth, refined, fast. <laughs> This is a, a balls out rattle shaking fast uh, you feel it like I said it's amazing and it turns like a dream it's just a really amazing bike a lot of you guys you know I I had concerns about a few things about it you know about the belt and all but they told me the car to get the belt fine it can take even more damage than what I have so um, I'm not even gonna worry about nothing I'm just gonna ride anything goes down I'll tell you about it but otherwise I'm just gonna enjoy this bike man as long as I have it um, but Leah as far as to clarify things so you understand when I mean sport bike I'm a sport bike rider and I want to stick with sport bikes it's probably going to be like a street fighter going forward but like I told you guys I'm not hating on cruisers I still love I love I admire cruisers they're beautiful bikes I've always I've always admired the looks of cruisers but honestly at this time and this point in my life the cruiser is I, I, I'm not the cruiser type at this point really except for on this bike <laughs> because it has the it, it's, it's like a super bike in a uh, in a cruiser setup I'm so sorry I sold my Ducati XD Avell S that was an absolutely amazing bike and I sold it to buy my current Aprilia Tuano V4 1100 factory, which is an amazing bike, but I feel it's more of a, a track bike set up for the street. The X Avell was an absolutely amazing bike for the street. Super comfortable, tons of power down low, and I'm thinking about getting another one. Or getting the new Diavel 1260. I don't know. What do you guys think should be my next bike? Leave a comment below and let's talk about it. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. Yeah.